I see a lot of couples out here tonight. Yeah, oh yeah, you guys look romantic. Yeah, let me ask you guys, since you're such a romantic group, do you guys believe that there's somebody out there for everybody? You do? Oh yeah, very, me too, me too, I do. I think there's a lid for every pot, I do. That's right, I think that life is just one big puzzle, you know, and you're just a, a puzzle piece waiting for your missing piece to click in next to you. I think there's someone out there for everybody. I mean, sometimes you see people and you're like, not them. <laughs> no, they'll die alone, you know. <laughs> but us, there's someone out there for us. <gasps> No, I do. I think there's somebody out there for everybody, even the die alones, you know. And <laughs> this was affirmed for me not too long ago. I was in Las Vegas, and I was doing what you do in Vegas, just walking down the street, people judging, you know. <laughs> That's what you do. People, you call it people watching. That's not what you do. <laughs> you wish it was, yeah. People watching, I think, I've never done it, but I think it would be like, oh, I wonder how old that kid is. Where'd that man get his shirt? I wonder where they're from. I've never had thoughts like that, no. <laughs> my, shop, my thoughts are more like, that kid should be on a leash. He's a fatty, she's a harlot. <laughs> well, anyway, I was, I was in Vegas and I saw, I saw this, this this couple, and uh, it, they were, I can't, I'm not sh <laughs> They were meant to be, let's just say that. They were meant to be, you know? Just rare and exotic birds that found each other, you know? It's a man and a woman, both of them had ponytails, you know? Both wearing socks and sandals, you know? They were two double XL people, both wearing fitted medium shirts. <laughs> So there was all kinds of spillage. <laughs> they were both, they're both holding iguanas. That's the part that caught me. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Otherwise, well, I just would have been like, huh? And I was like, huh? <laughs> anybody, anybody else? Anybody? <laughs> And I wanted to know what their love story was. You know, because they're together, obviously, and they had a love story, you know, and so, so I followed them for a little bit. <laughs> and then after a while, I got kind of bored and was like, I'll just make it up. Here's what I think happened. <laughs> they fell in love at the reptile store. Well, on the lizard food aisle stood a girl named Sarah. She had a lazy eye and was chewing on her hair. <laughs> she was humming the theme song to Deep Space Nine when the boy with the ponytail caught her good eye. <laughs> he was breathing kind of heavy when he reached for the iguana treat. Sarah got nervous, started staring at her feet. Ivan said, I really like your sandals and your socks. Sarah said, that's nice of you. <laughs> They're Crocs. <laughs> then they talked about iguanas and they talked about Star Wars, never thinking they just found love at the reptile store. <laughs> So Sarah came over and she brought her iguanas to Ivan's little room in the basement at his mama's.
He showed her his comic books and action figures too Then they stayed up late watching Doctor Who He was breathing kind of heavy when he walked her to the door And a goodnight kiss turned into something more They both did something they had never done before And that's a story about how two crazy lizard lovers found love At that reptile store Hey, did you know that Dry Bar Comedy has their own app? Download it right now to watch, save, and share clips. And watch my whole special.